name is Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be creating some very cool Easter eggs that um, explore the elements of art line. So we're going to explore some different lines but also we're going to have some fun and we're going to add some paint on one side and do some smushy smushiness to create some very cool paint texture on the outside of our egg to make some very cute Easter eggs. So grab those art making mediums. So a choice art making medium for the lines and eyes and mouth and just some liquid temp tempera paint and let's make some art. So we're going to begin our Easter egg line art that also kind of explores a little bit of symmetry. So we're going to take a piece of paper, choice color paper that will be for your egg, and you're going to fold it in half, just like that. And that's going to give us a nice perfect line down the middle. When we open it up, we'll be able to see that crease where the line will go. Now we're going to begin by drawing, actually, yeah, we're going to draw our egg with one on one side using a choice art medium. And we're gonna draw a nice big egg shape down on one side, bring it rounded at the bottom. So we want it to be more narrow at the top, round and wide at the bottom. And then you're gonna go and do it the opposite side. And you're gonna try and make it perfect and symmetrical, just like that, nice and big. Okay. Going to make some lines. So we're gonna grab again any art making medium and we're gonna do different lines across each one. So we're gonna explore some different lines and we're gonna start off with some swirling lines. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna loop them around and draw right across. Okay, and now every time we do a new line, we're gonna pick a new color to draw with. Okay, this time we're gonna do some zigzag lines. So we're gonna do some zigzag lines right across. So we have looping lines or swirling lines. Now we got zigzag lines. Let's do uh, some dashed lines, okay? We'll go little line, space, little line, space. And we're gonna do some dashed lines right across like that. Okay, next I'm gonna do some parallel lines. So I'm gonna draw one straight line across, but because it's parallel lines, I'll draw a second one. And I'm gonna go nice and slow and try to keep them equal distances apart. Okay, next I'm gonna do bunny hop lines or curved lines. So I'm gonna do little bunny hops right across to make some nice curved lines. Cross my Easter egg. Okay, switch colors. Okay, next we're going to do wavy lines. Make them nice and wavy right across your paper. Find a new color and let's do dotted line. Let's do a dotted line right across the paper. So I'll make nice little dots and we're gonna draw them Across our Easter egg dots, across our Easter egg. And then finally, we're going to do some hatched lines. Hatched lines. So we're going to draw a series of vertical lines across the egg to make some hatched lines lines can also be used to shade different things when we go ahead and explore different techniques in shading these are hatched lines all right so once we're done we're gonna take our egg and make sure we have a nice good fold in there and you're gonna pick two different colors and you're gonna add two different colors of liquid temper paint this is just liquid temper paint all nice and washable I'm gonna add three dots of any choice color on one side only. So I'm gonna add three dots of yellow. Then I'm gonna get my blue and I'm gonna add three dots of blue. So I've picked yellow and blue, but you can pick whatever colors you want for your paint colors. We're gonna add another dimension on top of here. So 
we have our lines below, but now we're gonna add paint on top. So we'll see a bit of different magical things happening here. Okay, so we're gonna take our paper, we're gonna hold on one side, we're gonna slowly push it over, okay? And now we're going to blend and smooth the paper. So we're gonna go like this. One, two, three, and here we go. Let's peek and see what happened. Oh yeah, we have some beautiful colors layered on top of our egg with some lovely details. We still see that paper below, but also we have our lines on top. My friends, how cool is that? All right, we need to give our lovely egg some eyes. So we're gonna just slide it to the side and we're gonna give our egg some cute eyes. So on one side, now you only need a little strip of white paper, so just a third of a piece of paper is all you need. On one side, we're gonna draw one curving line, and then we're gonna make a second parallel line on the inside. On the opposite side, we're gonna draw a circle. In that circle, we're gonna draw one big circle. And we're gonna draw two small circles. And then you can go ahead and color in the eyes. Nice and dark, but on the circle, we're gonna color it in, leaving just the circles white. Grab our scissors and we're gonna cut out our eyes. We're gonna use one hand to hold and one hand to cut. So one hand's doing the cutting, one hand's holding and turning the paper. Okay. recycle our extra bits of paper and then we're gonna slide our egg back while it's still wet and we're gonna place our eyes our eyes on the egg okay so I'm gonna place one eye way over on one side towards the edge there place it right on that wet paint just like that and one eye on the other side right on top of the wet paint Okay, and then with one piece of paper, a little scrap paper left, I'm just gonna add a mouth, and you can design whatever kind of mouth you want. I'm just gonna draw one straight line, a nice curving line, or a U-shape to connect, and then I'm gonna draw a curve from one side down to the bottom, and then color in the dark of the mouth, just like that. Then you just grab, grab a nice, bright tongue color, color it in. But I'm gonna give that a quick cut here. We're gonna add our mouth on, and you can do whatever kind of mouth you want. So if you don't like the way I've done something, feel free to add your own artist flavor to your work. There we go. I'm gonna add my mouth between the eyes, right on top of that paint again, just like that. And now we can go ahead and let our cute little Easter egg dry. And once your uh, egg is all dry. You'll see that the glue really just worked. Or oh, sorry, <laughs> the <laughs> paint worked exactly like glue. We can just go around and cut out these fabulous little Easter eggs, just like that. Go around the line, and then you can choose if you want to glue this to a different color piece of paper, or you can choose to leave it just like this. So let me just show you what I mean. So you can just take a different color piece of paper and glue it on. I mean, I preferred adding decorations even on the background paper. Or you can just have it as is. And just like that, your lovely Easter egg line art with some fun, cool, symmetrical texture is done. 
Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out, Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic, signing out.